Welcome to Crypto Cryptid. Today we're going to look at NFT art finance, and if you want to know more about crypto, make sure you follow our channel. Let's get into the video. These days, millennials aren't getting out of bed for the 10% stock market gains that boomers champion. As seen on Wall Street bets, young investors are coming together to share their investment ideas through the internet. These risk-tolerant internet investors got a taste of huge profits from the GME stock surge, and many of these traders are now looking to small market cap cryptocurrencies on Binance's pancake swap to try and find their next 1000% return. NFT Art Finance is a brand new cryptocurrency that uses Binance Smart Chain to execute its code. Essentially, NFT Art Finance wants to create a marketplace for artists to mint and sell non-fungible tokens. However, the company is yet to release any tangible products and there are already plenty of more developed alternatives on Ethereum's blockchain. The token is explained as hyperdeflationary. However, hyperdeflationary seems to be a buzzword the company uses to shift attention away from how much the tokenomics resemble a pyramid scheme. When you want to sell your NFT art tokens, you will be charged a 10% fee. Half of this is burnt, and the other half is distributed amongst NFT art token holders. If this sounds familiar, then you may be thinking of SafeMoon. SafeMoon is another popular token on BSC which heavily resembles a pyramid scheme. Token holders rely on other investors to buy into the coin, and they're incentivized to hold the coin to avoid paying high fees. Being that NFT art finance has only been around for a week, its history is quite brief. They have yet to do anything noteworthy with the platform, and according to NFT art website, the protocol will release its NFT marketplace in June. The token began trading at around hardly a fraction of one cent on the April of 22nd. It began trading at this incredibly low price due to its enormous maximum supply of 10 quadrillion tokens, even if a significant amount of these tokens will eventually be burned. The supply is still magnitudes larger than other crypto assets. NFT Art Finance reached a peak of $0.0000000360 in just a few days after its release. In the matter of about 96 hours, early investors made over 30,000% on their investment. Since then, the token has dipped to less than $0.0000001 per coin. How to buy NFT Art Finance Open a Binance account. The first thing you'll need to buy any tokens on PancakeSwap are Binance tokens. The easiest way to purchase BNB is through Binance's exchange, so you'll need to make an account with the trading platform if you don't already have one. Making a Binance account is quick and easy. Just enter your email address and create a password, and your Binance account will be made. Depending on where you live, you may have to verify your account before you can begin investing. Some common information that's required for US cryptocurrency investors is your driver's license number, social security, and home address. Once you've been verified, you're ready to buy BNB tokens. Binance token is currently trading at over $500, but you can buy a small fraction of the token if you so desire. You should buy as much Binance token as possible if you want to invest in NFT art finance, as you will be swapping these tokens for NFT art tokens. Trust Wallet is a free cryptocurrency wallet made by Binance, and you can download it on the iOS or Android app store. The software wallet is a multi-currency wallet so it can store a variety of cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, and NFT art tokens. The wallet also supports NFTs, so you can store your crypto collectibles in the same place as your cryptocurrency investments. Once you've downloaded the Trust Wallet, you can send your BNB tokens to the mobile app. There are several types of BNB tokens, so be sure to use the correct token address or your funds may be lost forever. Note that Binance Coin is different from Binance Smart Chain and ERC20 BNB coins, so they use different token addresses than the Binance Coin you own. Soon after you send your BNB tokens to your trust wallet, the coins will be credited to your account. To use PancakeSwap, you need to use Binance's Smart Chain, as this Binance is blockchain that supports smart contracts. To swap your BNB tokens, simply select your BNB tokens in your wallet, tap more, and then tap Swap to Smart Chain. The last thing you need to do before you can buy NFT art tokens is connect PancakeSwap to your trust wallet. To do so, navigate to the Adapt tab in the Trust Wallet. If you have the Android version of Trust Wallet, then you should see PancakeSwap appear as an option. If you're on iOS, you'll need to search for PancakeSwap by entering PancakeSwap Finance in the search bar. Now that PancakeSwap is enabled in your Trust Wallet, you can buy Binance Smart Chain tokens through your wallet. The most popular BSC tokens are SafeMoon and NFT Art Finance, but more and more cryptocurrencies are being developed on Binance's smart contract network. If you've ever used the popular Ethereum DEX Uniswap, then PancakeSwap will look eerily familiar. To buy tokens on PancakeSwap, simply search for the token you want to buy. In this case, you can search for NFT art to find NFT art finance tokens. If you're having trouble finding a token you want to invest in, you can also paste the token's address to PancakeSwap to find it. Here are a few popular token addresses for BSC tokens. After swapping your BNB Smart Chain tokens for NFT art tokens, the crypto will be automatically sent to your trust wallet via the PancakeSwap smart contract. Thanks to BSC proof of stake consensus algorithms, blockchain transaction costs on Binance Smart Chain are much lower than DEXs. When you want to sell your NFT art tokens, you'll basically need to do these steps in reverse. You'll first need to swap out your NFT art tokens for BNB Smart Chain tokens, and then you can swap these BNB tokens for Bitcoin, Ethereum, or another cryptocurrency. To take these profits in cash, you'll need to send this cryptocurrency to an exchange that's connected to your bank account. 
With a proposal to increase the capital gains tax to over 40%, investors are looking for ways to take profits without actually realizing their cryptocurrency gains. Lending companies like BlockFi are by far the best way to avoid paying high taxes on your investments while still being able to use your hard-earned profits. BlockFi lets you take out loans without the need for approval. Instead, you need to use your cryptocurrency as collateral. This way, you'll still have exposure to your crypto investments so long as you pay back your loan. Some investors use BlockFi to leverage their position as they can use loan to buy more cryptocurrency. If you aren't looking for crypto collateralized loan, BlockFi also offers investors high interest bearing accounts on their crypto assets. If you're interested in making 5% to 10% interest on top of the appreciation of your crypto, you should give BlockFi a try. While I don't have a crystal ball to tell you where the price of the NFT ARK token is headed, I can warn you that the token is extremely risky as an investment. The company hasn't been around for more than a month and they have yet to build up any tangible products. Investing in a blockchain startup as small as NFT ARK Finance might be one of the riskiest investments you can make. So it's not likely a good coin to hold on for dear life. Gemini builds crypto products to help you buy, sell, and store your Bitcoin cryptocurrency. You can buy Bitcoin and crypto instantly and access all the tools you need to understand the crypto market and start investing. All through one clear, attractive interface. Gemini Crypto Platform offers excellent account management options. You can manage your account at a glance, view your account balance, 24-hour changes, and percentage changes. Get started with Gemini now. That's all for today. If you find the video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more cryptocurrency-related news, and I'll see you in the next video.